The specific interest that I have in bioprocess engineering is um, looking at uh, biology as a manufacturing technology. When you realize that many of the drugs uh, that we use today, uh, uh, drugs such as penicillin, things that we consider very commonplace, to the more modern biotherapeutics, the, uh, the protein molecules that have been developed from recombinant DNA technology, these are molecules that are made by a manufacturing process. The challenge is to be able to make a lot of this material in a highly active form so that it can be recovered and purified for use as a biotherapeutic. And all those are manufacturing challenges. When you begin to design a process, one of the core technologies is fermentation. In that fermentation process, we will grow a large quantity of E. coli that has in it the specific DNA to make the molecule that you want to synthesize. In our case, that molecule is alpha-1 antitrypsin. We can then sample those cells, extract from that sample the DNA of the E. coli, and then display it onto a slide. And then we can scan that slide. And the microarray scanner allows us to identify the individual genes that have increased or decreased as the E. coli has grown. And from this information, we can deduce how to better grow the E. coli, how to better make the product, the biotherapeutic, that's of interest. The results from this work are, are exciting and important for, for several reasons. One is um, we, we, we're finding things that we did not expect to see. Uh, the, the manufacturing process is much more complex. How these little cells work as factories is more complex than we even imagined. But the, but the ability to interrogate the entire genome has given us several new directions for improving the process. The ability to use uh, chemical engineering in its many forms to change the world is a, is, is a very real concept. Uh, you, you find that with many of my colleagues in chemical engineering with their interest in, uh, in energy, uh, in new materials, in new chemical processes to make uh, new materials, uh, in the use of nanotechnology, there are many broad areas of chemical engineering. Certainly one of the, and to me the most exciting, is the biochemical engineering because it's a way of harnessing the science of biotechnology, harnessing the science of molecular biology, converting that science into processes to make products that indeed change people's lives.